The Prophet ﷺ, one of the things about him that amazes me and everything about him amazes me, but one of the things that I've contemplated is the fact that he named his personal belongings. And what I realized about that in, in my estimation, Wallahu ta'ala a'lam, is that he was honoring goods that enhance our lives. He had a name for his comb. He had his, a name for his turban. He only had a handful of things in his life. If you actually took all of the possessions that he had, they would fit into a very small box. But he named them because they were meaningful things to him. We live in a society that gives stuff no meaning. It's not only nameless, it's discarded as fast as people buy it. We have engineered obsolescence. Things aren't built to last. If you want an a, a idea, because I'll be your first customer. I, I have an idea, like I want a shop called Till Death Do Us Part. Things for people that want things that last. Because when I was a kid, if you bought something, it lasted. I, I used to brush leaves because my grandfather had a cattle ranch and, and we had to go up and he would always put us to work because he was old school and that's what he thought you should do to kids because they put him to work when he was six years old. He was selling bubble gum on Market Street in San Francisco, California in, in 1899. So that was what he would do. So we'd be just pushing brooms and there'd always be a tree at the end. We could go ride a horse or something. But the brooms that I was pushing when I was five years old, they were the same brooms I was pushing when I was 15. Because they were built to last. Now you go and you buy a broom and you, do, you, you sweep your, your sidewalk three times and it, it's broken. And then they tell you, well, it's cheaper to just buy a new one. That's what they tell you now. It's just cheaper to buy a new one. We have to reject this whole culture of consumption. We have to reject it. 